A few lessons ago, we said there are two main ways in which companies can transfer their earnings to shareholders, by paying dividends, which we have already considered, and by buying back their own shares, the so-called share repurchasing. And in fact, sometimes companies are in the market for their own shares. There are a few ways to do that. A firm makes a tender offer declaring it is willing to purchase a given number of shares at a given price. Alternatively, it could negotiate with some shareholders privately. Or the firm can start buying its own shares on the open market, which gives the most flexibility in terms of quantity and timing. A company buying its own shares sounds a bit strange at first. Why would a firm that has issued some shares and sold them to investors be interested in reacquiring these shares? After all, this has to be a zero-sum game. But it doesn't necessarily work that way. There's another way to look at share repurchases. They can be a signal to the entire marketplace. The company's management comes from a position of strength and wants to communicate to the market that the firm's shares are undervalued. They believe that by buying back shares from shareholders who are willing to sell at a low price, a significant amount of value will be created for the shareholders who actually stick with the company long term. The direct result from buying back shares is that shareholders who remain on board will have the right to a higher portion of the firm's profits. Said with other words, earnings per share, the amount of net income earned per each share owned, will increase. All else being equal, remaining shareholders will receive a higher dividend too. This all sounds very good. But are there any potential pitfalls from share repurchases? Of course. Finance techniques are rarely black and white. What can be seen as a signal of strength in a certain situation can also be interpreted as a lack of investment opportunities if circumstances are slightly different. It all depends on market sentiment. If the market perceives a lack of investment and growth opportunities, the company's share price will likely go down and thus the company's overall market cap. Therefore, there are no guarantees on what will be the effect of a share repurchase program. Moreover, given that share repurchasing dries up a company's cash reserves, if the economic climate changes rapidly, this could lead to a weakened balance sheet at a time when the company cannot easily raise equity, given that it was repurchasing shares up until recently. So, as a conclusion, we can say that this is a technique that can be used as a signal to the market when circumstances are right and investors' reaction is quite predictable.